Hey everyone and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. In this video we're going to be having a look at and review of Printoid, the most popular OctoPrint app on Android. Let's have a look. OctoPrint is fantastic at allowing you to control all of your 3D printers from wherever they are. But relying on a web user interface to access the server and change any of your settings or control them can be a bit clunky, especially if you're away from your office room or wherever your printers and computer are and uh, you need to use your mobile web browser for example, it's not ideal. That's where an app comes in real handy. Printoid is the most popular of the apps for Octoprint on Android. There are some other really good ones, I'll be covering them in some other videos soon, but Printoid is in my opinion the best one around. Let's have a look at what the features are, how it works and if it's the right one for you. So to start off, once you've got Printoid installed, I'll leave a link to the app in the description below, get it opened up. Now mine's obviously already set up but I'll go through how you can get it set up to connect it to your printer uh, in a second. Well actually let's, let's start with that, so we can just go on to the My Octoprint servers and this will list any of the printers that you've got it set up with, any of your Octoprint devices you've got it connected to. So I've got it connected to two here at the moment. If you were to add another one, you would just add the plus button here and we will go through the settings there. But for now, we will just go through the one that I've got here set up for the Prusa behind me. So first of all, you'd give it a name enter the IP address for that printer. If um, you added a local name for it, a local server name, let's say prusa.local, you could enter that, it would work just as well. Uh, then if you're using it outside of your network, you can also enter your network's public IP address, as well as if you're using Octoprint Everywhere or Obico, which used to be Spaghetti Detective, to be able to monitor your prints remotely and to use AI systems to monitor the uh, performance of the print, you can connect them to the system here. Underneath that, you've got Octoprint API key. Now this is important, so you would just click the QR code button on the right hand side here, and then it will come up with a camera view. Go onto Octoprint on your computer, go into the settings, go down to the API section on the side and you'll see a QR code. Scan that QR code with this app and it will allow the app to connect with your Octoprint server. And then the last essential step to be able to connect the app to your system is the login details. So you use the login details that you use when you're logging into Octoprint from a web browser. So once you've got that set up, it should be all ready to go. If it has connected to Octoprint but isn't yet connected to your uh, printer itself, you can again just go to the menu, come down and where it says disconnect printer here, it will, it will say connect to printer. If you click that, it will give you the connection options and then you can get it connected exactly as if you were connected to the uh, web browser. So let's have a look at the general app itself. This is the user interface. So at the top here, you've got your current status, so that's if you were printing, it would have your, uh, your print time, etc. Obviously, it's not currently printing at the moment. Um, below that, you've got controls, so you can move different parts of your printer. Um, and then below that, you've got your temperatures, so in green is your print bed, in red is your hot end. Um, and then you can adjust those temperatures and your fan speed with these bars on the right hand side. Um, I'll take that back down so it's not too noisy. And then below that we have got um, the G code that you've got uploaded to the server. So um, I've only got one item uploaded to here at the moment but uh, if you had multiple you could be able to just scroll up and down through that. Um, the fact that I, the reason I've got a thumbnail of the image there, a 3D render of that G uh, code file, is because I've got the plugin um, slicer thumbnail. Uh, if you look at my recent Octoprint recommend uh, Octoprint essential plugins video, uh, it covers this. But this is a plugin which makes sure that you're easily able to see what G code is for what file. Um, so. There's this user interface, there's an alternative user interface. If you were to click on the logo at the top, you've got grid, which is what we're in at the moment, and tabs. If we go to that, it's giving you the exact same features, but they are basically dividing into four sections and then gives you a full screen interpretation of each feature. So you've got your monitor, this is your live print settings. 
you've got your control features. Uh, so let's say uh, we'll home everything now. So um, this would then allow you to obviously control uh, all your different directions. Uh, after that, you've got temperature. Uh, and then, oh, you can also set your temperatures from here. So if I was to enter a target, for example, and then click enter. So let's say 50 degrees, enter. That hot end is now heating up to 50 degrees. Uh, I'll turn that off so I don't forget. Uh, then underneath that, and for each of these is an offset. So let's say you've uploaded a G-code and uh, it's designed to uh, print in PLA and you wanted to print in ABS and it required an extra 20 degrees hotter than the settings that you set it to. You could just add a 20 degree offset here and it is going to change any temperatures that it is told to use and add 20 to those figures. So that's a nice way of being able to do that. And then the final tab here is just your list of G-code. Um, I will stick with the grid view for now because it allows you to see and control everything from one space. And I say it allows you to see everything. There's one thing that you can't see here and that is obviously the webcam. In the top right hand side here is a button which gives you the webcam view. So if I was to uh, move around now you can see that this is a live view of the webcam. Um, and you can take photos and change the settings using the figures in the top right hand side there. You can click it again and it will hide. When you're actively printing, if you open this app, it is going to bring up a uh, bubble that will be able to hover over any other app. And if you tap that bubble, it will give you a live feed. Uh, it will give you a live video feed of the print uh, at that moment, and then you can just um, minimize it again and move the bubble wherever it is out of the way, or you can delete it entirely. Um, the other thing with this is obviously it's very, uh, you could be quite nervous about accidentally tapping something when you've got a live print and you don't want to ruin it. And that's what this padlock in the top right hand corner is. You tap that and it locks it. So now you can't accidentally press something and change a setting whilst it's actively printing. I'll unlock that now as we're going through it. Uh, I'm not going to be going through the whole app because this is just looking to see how good this system actually is, if it is going to perform well for you. But um, you've got some really uh, good systems here and like you can access everything that you can access in the main Octoprint web app you can access from here. If there's um, a plugin that has settings that you can't access from here. Uh, on the main menu here, you can go down to Octoprint Web Interface. Clicking that will open the web interface in a built-in browser, so you'll be able to access it exactly as if you were on a computer. Uh, you've got various other settings here. Uh, you've got your um, printer settings, and then obviously, like I said before, you can disconnect the printer, and uh, you can activate the printer, uh, you can connect to the printer, Octoprint's plugins, you'd expect that it is a list of all the plugins you've got installed. It's not, it's actually a list of recommended plugins that you can then install from there. So that's not what that uh, that is, but it has all the features here that you would want from a remote um, app for Octoprint. In addition to the main app, you've also got a couple of widgets. So this is not a live video feed, it's actually a still image, meaning it's not constantly draining your battery and your data, but if you tap it, it updates. So you can see it's just of the printer now. I move my hand in there, it's not in there. If I tap it and then tap it again, you can see it's updating to whatever the current status is of the webcam. And above that is your live print status widgets. So that will give you things like your percentage complete, what time it started, how long it's been printing for, time till completion, and what file is printing, as well as being able to pause, stop, and even start new prints. But this isn't just for use on a mobile phone. Printoid actually has a companion app for the smartwatch and it really made me feel like I was printing in the future when I was able to start a 3D print from my wristwatch and then monitor a live video of it along with the stats of that print from my watch. It really did feel like I was living in the future. Whilst when I'm sat at my computer, I definitely use the web interface. I whack dashboard onto a full screen mode, put it on my side screen and then I can monitor it at all times. Anytime I'm not at my computer, having this Printoid app makes it much nicer to be able to interact with Octoprint and all its systems. So I really recommend checking it out. Now there are both a free version and a paid version of this app. 
The free version has all the main features that you're going to want. The paid version just makes things a little nicer to use. So it's up to you which direction you want to go there. But they're both available on any Android system. Again, I'll pop a link in the description below. If you've got any questions, make sure you pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much.